we get on with it. Like, I got somewhere to go. <laughs> what would you like to know, Doc? I'm tired of you, Doc, this thing. Y'all always can fix me. You can't fix me. Nobody can fix me. So I guess I'm supposed to just sit here and talk to a complete stranger about my problems. Okay? Let's see. Um... Lost my cousin when he was 16. Got shot. Um, haven't got over that. Um, two years ago, I lost my father. He committed suicide. Haven't got over that. <laughs> you want me to sit here and and just act like... <sighs> what? That I'm not a human? I don't know if I'll ever get over this, Doc. Yo, me and my pops was cool. I never thought he'd go like that. It's crazy. Sometimes I wake up and I feel like it's a dream or something, you know? Why my pops leave me, man? Why he leave me alone in this world like this? And now I gotta be a father to my kids. I gotta keep living for them. But it hurts. It hurts in my heart that I can't pick up the phone and call my father. Now, I know sometimes it's selfish and I think about why wasn't my love enough for him to stay. But I don't know what he was going through. And obviously it was a, it was a lot for him to take his own life. But I know I got an angel in heaven looking over me. But it ain't the same. Ain't the same, Doc. Sometimes I don't even know. I don't know if I'm going left or right. This pain, sometimes I feel it just won't go away. Yo, it took a lot for me and my pops to get our, our relationship back on track. But I love that dude. And no matter what, he always wanted the best for me. I didn't understand it then. But I understood it later. He was a great father. He wanted the best for me. I'm just glad he was able to see me, you know, on TV and do the things that I always wanted to do. So I have that to be thankful for. Can't do this, Doc. 